Okay, so walk around this uh, rather gorgeous 1980 um, Land Rover Lightweight, 88 inch soft top, 24 volt FFR. Um, looks like it's been completely restored. Uh, I know the last owner's bought it as a 90% uh, finished example, and I've just uh, spent a lot of time and effort just getting it absolutely right. And um, as for my other video, it drives as if it was new. It's fabulous. Um, finished in uh, NATO bronze green externally. Uh, inside it's still the NATO IRR drab and under the bonnet. Um, that's what it started life as, I guess. Uh, fitted with military front bumper. It's actually got an earlier type grille on it, Series 2A type grille, but we'll let it off that. That's fine. Um, a matching set of five um, Michelin 750R16 um, tyres. I think they're all Michelins, are they? Yep, that's Michelin. Uh, and they're fairly new as well, I think, from memory. Um, it's got a nice new military type tilt, military pattern tilt with the extra bits and pieces on it. Oh, whoever that is, they can wait. Um, it's had a new rear quarter chassis on it, including the correct cross member. Um, that's all good. It's a NATO tow hook. It's got all the Pioneer tools along the back there. Um, inside, it's very, very standard. It still retains some of its. Um, some of it's radio gear, but it's also got a big radio rack across the top, which has got uh, head pads on it, which is quite nice to have. Um, it's got the correct narrow axles on it, so the correct flat-faced axles, uh, half shafts and stuff. Um, it's just superb. All the proper military lights and everything. I'll go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very few bad bits. Um, Body-wise, it looks lovely. It has been, uh, say, it was all stripped back to the bare metal, allegedly, and, uh, and repainted. The paint isn't to show standard, but it's... Um, it's still pretty good for all that, probably about as good as it would have had when it left the factory. But uh, um, it's a bit orange peely here and there and stuff, but uh, you know, it is, a, it is a Land Rover after all, but it certainly looks very, very smart indeed. Um, the chassis has all been uh, Schutz sealed, uh, but we've been round it with a hammer and it all seems to be in great shape underneath. Um, it's all nice round there. Dog doesn't come with it, incidentally. Looking down the near side, very, very straight by, uh, by lightweight standards. It's all really nice. Bit of sort of couple of chips up here on the top of the near side front wing and a slightly sort of dull patch just round by the old mirror housing just round here. But uh, look, actually it's had a box on the top of that. Of course it has. It's it'd be an FFR. It would have had a box on top of there at some point and then an, an, an amplifier box. And it's got the same this side, sort of slight uh, um, outline of the original boxes on the wing tops. But um, the scuttle top, which can be a problem on lightweights, is absolutely first class on this one, as is the bulkhead. I uh, don't know if it's been replaced or not, but the, the bulkhead is fantastic, all underneath there and uh, up the top here, it's superb. Um, near side door, excellent from the outside. Let's have a look inside. The inside is, again, absolutely gorgeous on it. Um, all the instruments and everything all look as if they've been replaced or renewed, certainly the switches and things. It's all been nicely picked out. It's all great in there. Uh, tilt superb. Footwells are magnificent. I mean, that's factory standard there. So, whether they're original, whether it's been um, um, redone, I don't know. But it's just superb. Passenger door, great. No problems at all there. Near side rear wing, superb. And looking under here, you can see the join where the rear quarter chassis has been uh, has been fitted. Um, but otherwise, it's all as it should be. Doesn't look to have had much plating around the suspension mounts either. Cross member around the back is all good. If I want to pick holes, the badge is in the wrong place, but uh, that is a bit nitpicky. Um, it's got the nice red NATO tow hook on it, and the electrics. In the back here, it's very, very tidy. Um, we can fit bench seats to it if you want us to. It's not a problem for a small extra cost. Um, looking down the offside, doors fit perfectly on that side. How are we doing on that side? Yeah, doors fit perfectly there as well. Very good indeed. Offside rear wing, first class. Somebody wants to get hold of me. Um, and that all looks nice under there. Um, offside door, spot on. I did notice a run in the paint somewhere. Where was it? There's a couple of minor scratches on the offside door, just along there. And there's a couple of minor hedge scratches just along the, um, 
the offside rear wing there. But as I say, it has been um, not been used for off-roading, shall we say, but it's, it's, uh, someone's had a little bit of fun with it, but it's nice and tidy and clean. A couple of minor scratches on the bonnet. As I say, don't expect the paint to be uh, concourse standard. It's just nice, shall we say. Um, and as I say, about the sort of stage that you'd expect one that had been in military service for a year or so to look like. Um, but it certainly hasn't got any electrolytic reaction on it or any nasties like that or paint lifting or anything. Again, scuttle, fantastic all round there. Really, really good. Front corner, superb. And inside here, it's uh, again magnificent. Footwells are superb. Um, the detachable scuttle top up here is first class. That's the most expensive bit on a lightweight, and that's fantastic. It's, it's just a great car, it really is. Really, really nice. That's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0818 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co dot uk for any further info we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world uh, certainly the uk and europe uh, or we can put it on a boat um, at, uh, at our normal cost that's about it end